My name's Ron Harper, and uh, I am the proud franchise owner of the number 14 most popular place to get pizza in America, the Pizza Pad. So I've been a franchise owner for about six years. Uh, how it happened is we looked at the FDD, franchise disclosure uh, something, and I said, cha-ching, yes please. So we took out an SBA loan, uh, got this turnkey system. It's like an ATM machine, 20s, rolling at me all day, sometimes fives, sometimes tens. It's awesome. Here's the thing about being a franchise owner. What I know is that corporate don't get it. I like to think outside of the pizza box. I open that baby up, boom, theme night. I like, for instance, I have a camping night. I send my cooks home and we just give the customers raw pizzas and we got a fire pit out here in the middle of the dining room and they just, they cook their pizzas. Does corporate know about these ideas? So, um, you know, my job as a franchisee is, you know, to really help make the brand better. What I did is I took a look at our logo here, pizza pad, boring. I know. And I thought, how can I help this? How can I make this better? And I thought, what's hot right now? Apple's hot right now, okay? So what did I do with our logo? So I took my Sharpie, just like this, and... Pizza iPad, revolutionary. The thing about this rebranding is it has just absolutely changed our whole restaurant. It's changed our menu completely from top to bottom. Now you can order an iMac and cheese, which is just absolutely delicious. You can order the Apple TV, which is actually just a basket full of apples. But our coup de gras of our new menu is the pizza iPad. Oh yeah, check this thing out. Comes complete with apps right here. You got your pepperoni app, your sausage app, your green pepper app, your mushroom app. People can load this iPad pizza with whatever app they want. The one thing you can't do is you can't swipe it, of course, you know? You can't click on an app and more pepperonis are gonna come out, but, uh, but people love it, so. You could also get this in an iPad mini, so. One, two, three. Pizza, Pizza iPads, iPads number, number one. one. Three, two, one, and. Yes, 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 and yes, Thrive Nation. We are in the air everywhere, and we're talking today about how to grow a successful company. That's the kind of things that I like to talk about, and we're joined here with Matt Klein of OxyFresh, OXIFresh.com. He's the franchise brand developer for OxyFresh. Uh, Matt Klein, uh, what is OxyFresh, and who is Matt Klein? OxyFresh is a low-moisture, eco-friendly floor cleaning franchise. Um, that has been a business since 2006. We're a fully functioning, fully supported franchise from top to bottom. Our goal is to find folks that can really um, find this business successful to where they can have income, multiple streams of income, uh, financial freedom, time flexibility, all that. So that's what we do. And what I do at Oxfresh, I'm the director of franchise development. So my job is here um, to essentially find the right people and get them through the evaluation process so that they can finally come to Colorado to actually become a franchise. Now, Matt, I'm not going to paint you into a, to a corner. I know I, I wouldn't do that. James, I wouldn't paint Matt into a corner. I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't even think about it. Wouldn't even suggest it on a show. Wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, OxyFresh is a franchise, and we have one of our uh, great listeners who I believe is in Denver right now uh, looking into the opportunity of buying an OxyFresh franchise. And I just want to talk to you about this because – once you have taken the time to refine a business model and you've built the systems and processes so there's, there's turnkey branding, turnkey marketing, turnkey sales systems, turnkey service, uh, the, the providing of service, uh, the, the turnkey providing of the product, turnkey bookkeeping, mm -hmm. turnkey accounting, turnkey human resources, really uh, you have an option to either grow corporately or to, or to franchise the business, uh, to, to open up multiple locations corporately or to uh, franchise the business. Can you maybe explain the difference between corporate-owned growth versus franchise growth? Yeah, corporate-owned would mean that we as a, a company would establish, like, we still own all of the locations. For instance, like if we had a, an OxyFresh in Portland, we would essentially still be the people pulling the strings We'd be hiring an on-site manager there to run that business, but everything would roll up to us uh, as a corporate company. The difference between that and a franchise is that you're, you're investing in the rights to a specific territory. You would own your own company, your own EIN, your own business entity. You personally would be um, like paying taxes to the government. You would not be an employee of OxyFresh. You'd be a business owner with the rights to OxyFresh's name, likeness, 
um, intellectual property so you can run that franchise with all support and infrastructure that we've created. Okay, so let's 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 go down this path for a second. Let's just say James and, and James, you work in this office here. You help a lot on the on the tour and with the conferences and that kind of thing. That's right. I give you a script. Oh yeah, baby, you have a script. So people that go to thrivetimeshow.com and they request tickets to come to one of our in person workshops, um, I give you a script. Why do you follow the script? Because it works, and you can measure. I can measure my success on the script and. I know my numbers. I now know this where is I'm a, supposed this to be is every a true day. thing. This is a true thing. You make a a four percent commission, I believe. Is that right? Yes, sir. And at the past event, I believe. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe at the past event we had thousands of people there. I believe that you sold a ticket to half the people. Is that an accurate statement? A, a little bit more than half. A little bit more than <laughs> half. Of all the tickets were sold by one person. Is that accurate? That's accurate. Okay. So, um, but you choose to follow the system. I do. Okay. Now, uh, Matt, when somebody buys a franchise from OxyFresh, do they have to follow the system? They certainly do not. We suggest that they do, but they do not have to follow the system. They have to follow the rules and regulations, but if they want to think outside the box and do things, even though we say they may not be successful at it, they do own the right to do that. Okay, so as a franchise owner with OxyFresh, if somebody listens today and they go, man, I want to pay uh, to buy a franchise because your system has been proven to work so well, but I don't want to follow the system. You're telling me they can do that. They could, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have, again, rules within our franchise that you, know, you can't poach from another franchise and you know you can't um, use product that, that's outside of our, our franchise system because we make very specific claims about our product being safe and it's backed by the EPA. So there's some rules within that. But so let's take a roadside billboard, for example. If you call and you tell me you're a new franchise, you go, Matt, I'm really excited. My friend owns a, a sign company and I can get a, a, a roadside billboard put up for $5,000. I would tell them not to spend a single cent on it, use it on things that we know work. Now, at the end of the day, they could choose to do that mm. as long as they have the right logos and color schemes and, and taglines, they can do that, right? We would all suggest that's a very bad use of, of an investment because we know through 17 years of doing this that, that that is not our target market. We do not get jobs off of that. But if you choose to do that, you can. Now, what's different, uh, different is when you come into my office, it's like a benevolent dictatorship. Uh, James, what do I do <laughs> in my office uh, if somebody doesn't follow the scripts and systems? You're fired. <laughs> now, you, you redirect him and tell him, hey, you need to follow the script and follow the systems. And from a personal standpoint, I don't know why anyone, anyone would uh, see something that's successful and then try to reinvent the wheel. If it's already rolling and it's rolling well, why do it differently? But you see people that try to do it. I do, and, and you know what? I, every single day, I beat them on the leaderboard for how many tickets are sold. It's <laughs> just unbelievable <laughs> to me. Okay, so Matt, I want to talk about this. So if I buy an OxyFresh today, how much money does it cost? It costs 44900 to become a franchise. If you are a veteran, it will cost you 40410 so you get a 10% discount. And in that investment, you'll get your equipment, your product, your territory, the rights to the franchise for seven years, training here in our office in Denver, Colorado. All that comes to that initial 44900 Okay, We suggest that once you've invested that, you want to have about 20000 in operating capital available yep. to you so you can get cash flow positive. You can pay for things like insurance, local marketing, monthly vehicle costs, employee costs if you choose not to do the jobs in the beginning. So all an investment around 65000 So people, uh, that, that they, if they go to oxyfresh.com, oxifresh.com, and they schedule a consultation with you, you're going to do that no cost. You'll schedule Discovery Day, no cost. They can come out to Denver. But you're trying to tell me, and I may, maybe you're not trying to tell me, maybe I'm just trying to tell myself, are you saying that there, it, are, it is possible there are people who uh, will put the money up to buy an OxyFresh and then not follow the systems? Are you, has, has that ever happened? It does. It's actually kind of frustrating because we don't. We, it's not that we don't want people thinking outside the box. We became the franchise we are because people did think outside the box, because they took chances on other things. What we want to do is eliminate the amount of time-consuming, costly mistakes that come from small business. That's why you get into a franchise, that we have all the infrastructure. You don't have to worry about your vendors. You don't have to worry about research and development on product. You don't have to worry about marketing, research, and development. Like We have it all. Now, we're not saying don't think outside the box. We're saying to get yourself to become a business that's successful and profitable, follow the system that gets you there, and then think outside the box. Right. 
So Matt, let me let me interject something real quick. Just as and, and this isn't sure. the only uh, kind of, of feedback that you've ever received. This isn't the only kind of uh, pushback I'm sure you've ever received at OxyFresh. But let me just give you an example. I'm a local owner, okay, and I, I bought an OxyFresh. Okay, we're gonna kind of role play the situation, okay? And uh, Matt, uh, I'm gonna call you with corporate, and I'm gonna tell you something. I just want to get kind of your feedback on this situation, okay? So when someone buys an OxyFresh, they, we, you clearly tell them, Clay, if you buy an OxyFresh, one of the core things you need to do, one of your key performance indicators you need to do is you need to be getting an objective Google review from your happy customers after you provide the service. This is something that OxyFresh teaches. This is the best practice. You want to gather objective review, Google reviews from your happy customers. Okay, so Matt, I'm, I'm calling into yeah. corporate. Are you ready? Here we go. Phone's ringing. Matt, you're answering the phone because you're corporate. I am the franchisee. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, this is Matt Klein with OxyFresh. How can uh, I help you? Matt, here's the deal. I, uh, I'm running my OxyFresh here. I've been here in business for like 16 weeks uh, down here in uh, Des Moines. And uh, I, uh, I haven't gotten any Google reviews, and my phone is not ringing. No, no Google reviews. Phone's not ringing. Uh, just the whole thing. It's a disaster. I wish I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> well, what I'm going to tell you is that we need to take you right back to step one, and we need to go through the um, on uh, sorry the the five month coaching program and get you reestablished there. Because at this point, being several weeks in. There should be one very specific thing that you realize what to do, and that is to how to manage Google, and we'll help you do that. So let's start fresh. Because if you're not getting Google reviews, you're already behind the ball. You cannot be successful without getting that. Now, here's the deal. I want you to know something. I respect you. I respect you, and I want you to know this. In, in, in Des Moines, where I live, there's a lot of Chinese people, you know, a lot of Chinese people. My son is actually Chinese. It's an interesting story. And uh, so we're using TikTok. We're just on TikTok. Boom. I'm on TikTok. Boom. I make a video. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, boom, I'm cleaning carpets. Boom. It's like, boom. That's what I – TikTok to me is the future. Google is the past. What say you, Matt? How many jobs you get on, on TikTok this month? I got zero, but I'm sowing the seeds. Sowing the seeds. Sowing the well, seeds. Boom. Keep sowing those seeds if you'd like, but I'll teach you how to get Google reviews so that every customer that uses their cell phone that typically uses Google to search, we will show up in all of the areas that you're looking to do jobs in a way with a better website, better marketing material, better taglines, and we'll be able to get you jobs. Okay, real quick. Now, has that, has that kind of situation ever happened before, Matt, where somebody... I have you know, literally had that exact same conversation. Okay. And they're like, you know, I want to go on TikTok. It's the future. You Google's the past. I got a new way. got a new thing. And, and, and again, I'm asking this not to, you know, uh, belittle the situation or to have fun with it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, it's like you, you, when, you, when someone buys an OxyFresh, you tell them right out the gate this is what they need to do. But you are telling me there are people that exist on the planet Earth that don't want to follow the proven system. Well, I think people, when something's not working perfectly right, right, they want to adjust and kind of look away from from that. And so we've had people, you know, say, you know, the common ones that we get is, you know, no, nobody in my area uses Gmail or, you know, <laughs> people in my area are, you know, they don't give reviews or it's just all sorts of things that are assumptions that aren't true. And, and, it, and it comes from a place where maybe they try to get a review and it didn't stick, which happens, mm. right? Um, and it, it's it's creating behavior within the job itself to where reviews are a part of the actual job itself, not like a, something that you can just sometimes do. It needs to be behavior within your employees so that you can set yourself apart from your competition. Because if you have five reviews on Google and 17 other companies have five reviews, now you're, now you don't, you haven't given your customers a reason to pick you. There's, you know, you might have a better website and everything, but you haven't done a single thing to, to put yourself above the competition. So now they're confused. Who are they going to choose, right? If 17 companies that are all basically the same, so what are we going to do? So yeah, Google reviews allow you to be seen more. It also gives the, the, the customer that's searching validation to use you, right? And it's not only just reviews. A lot of people will get a bunch of reviews and stop. It's like if the last five reviews you got were six months ago, you look like you're out of business. Mm. Right? We'll teach you how to get reviews, uh, maintain reviews, consistency, you know, it's like people want to people want to use services from companies that are very local. I'm talking like in in the in the city, not the not the county, not the state. And they want to know that that you're a real company and you have reviews, you know, within the last week. That's that's a powerful that's a powerful business on the Internet. 
Okay, now I'm going to call back now, Matt. I'm calling back again now. Uh, you know, I've been in business now for about five weeks, okay? Five weeks with OxyFresh. Um, I, fought, I went to the Discovery Day. I, I learned everything you taught me. I took detailed notes. I called in a few weeks ago, told you I wasn't getting any leads. You taught me what to do. I'm getting leads now. Now I've got a new problem, Matt. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm calling in again. Hello, this is Matt with OxyFresh. Oh, Matt, baby, I got the Google reviews. You're, you're crazy. You're a genius. <laughs> Phone's ringing all the time. Only, only the only thing I want to tell you about, about Des Moines, something you don't know. One, there's a lot of Chinese people that go to my son's college. That's a, something you didn't know. Second yeah. second yeah. thing, yeah. hey, hey, don't cut me off now, okay? Okay, you have just, <laughs> second, <laughs> second thing I'm dealing with right now, I want you to know it's a problem. There's no good employees in all of Des Moines. You hold the whole freaking place. It's like, you know, and so it's like there's no good employees. So it's like my phone's ringing all the time. It's like, whoa, my phone, boom, ringing all the time. I'm off TikTok. I'm on Google. Phone's ringing all the time. But you know what? There's no good people. What say you, Matt? Uh, how are you currently trying to find employees? Uh, but I, my, I have the theory people want what they can't have. So I don't post any job posts, you know, because they want what they can't have. Ah, okay. If they don't think they can, you, they, they you qualify. The they posting that we gave you? Absolutely not. The professional job posting that comes with your franchise that we know has been proven time and time again to garnish interest in the position that you're trying to fill. Uh, I got, if I you haven't done I, that, then we'll need to get on a call. I can't tell we'll a lie. With I, can't, I can't tell a lie. Okay, I can't tell a lie. I'm gonna tell you. I totally rejected what you said. Didn't do it. Uh, and I, you know, didn't post online. Didn't didn't do it. Didn't do it. You know why? Because in no Des Moines, worries. it doesn't work. Do you like cleaning carpet yourself? Love no, no. You're getting personal. Well, yeah. Well, if you don't, you better take my advice, and we'll teach you how to get cus uh, employees. We've got thousands of employees across the country. Do me a favor, go drive five miles in one direction on a major road, and tell me how many companies have employees that are working at minimum wage to twenty dollars an hour, and then come back to me and tell me that there aren't people in your area that want to work. I think you have a major college in your market, right? There are tons of people there. But your inability to use the resources at your disposal are creating an environment where you can't be successful. Now, does that, does that, does that situation ever happen? Because I find often as a business consultant, one of the biggest oh, issues yeah. people have is step one is generating leads. Step two is finding good employees. Do you, do you hear this often? Often. It happens constantly. Like I, like I just said, some, I'm, I own my own franchise, and I'm, getting ready to, I'm hiring someone right now. I put a job posting on Indeed, the professional job posting that I just said, Right, I boosted it with, with a with a budget, and I've gotten over sixty candidates in the last three days. Mm. People are 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 eager for a good opportunity, but just like marketing and just like Google, if those people that are trying to find a good opportunity can't distinguish your opportunity as a good one compared to all the other opportunities on Indeed, you have no you have no reason to expect that you're going to get a good candidate. Now, I'm going to call back again, Matt. You've helped me through the hiring thing. You helped me through the, the Google thing. I'm calling in again. And this time, James, I have a, I have a unique situation OxyFresh has never dealt with. Are you prepared? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Hello, this is Matt with OxyFresh. Uh, Matt, baby. Here's the deal, baby. I figured out the Google reviews. I got the hiring. It's happening. Here's the deal. The people in Des Moines, they don't want to work. I gave him the freaking manual. No, no, don't get on me. Don't get off my ass, Matt. I didn't train him, okay? I've been busy. But I did like a self-training thing where I said, hey, you're hired. Train yourself. Here's the manual. Let's go. But the people in Des Moines, they don't like hands-on. Oh, this is how you clean the carpet. They want to do it on their own, Matt, baby. People in, Oxy, people in Des Moines, they want a fresh approach called self-training. And that's the problem. Well, you're going to have a really hard time being successful because we have all of the resources. You can send your employees to, to Denver. We'll train them for free for five full days. When they get back, they'll be very uh, acclimated to the job itself and how to be successful. Um, if you want to, uh, we can help you, you know, be able to train as well. But, you know, there's a reason that we ask you to come to Colorado cause, so you get training so that you can train your employees. Now, if you can't do that, you need to send them out here to Colorado, one or the other. Because you need to make sure that the customers that you have are being serviced at the highest level. And the only way to ensure that is that they're trained appropriately. 
You know, one of the things I love about you, Matt, baby, is I love the training. But one of the things I, I, I hate about you is you know everything. It's like you would know it all. What? It's just like a, like an ass face. You know what I mean? It's like I don't dislike <laughs> you, but it's like you're an ass face. You're just somebody who it's like, oh, I know everything. Oh, I'm, I'll, I have all the answers. Ah! So I'll call you back later, but I, I'm a little bit pissed that you're just a know-it-all. How often does that happen, Matt, where people just kind of resent the fact that you actually know what you're doing and you're always available? To, I mean, does that ever happen where people just get pissed that you guys at corporate are on it? Does that ever? Because I, I hear from other people, not necessarily OxyFreshes, but, you know, people that own other franchises. And they have this sort of weird relationship with corporate where they're, they're frustrated with the guys at corporate. They're always on my ass. You know, that kind of thing. Do you ever run into that, or is that yeah. not not so much? Yeah, certainly. And I think you know me doing this for as long as I have, I'm probably a little callous to like feelings. Yeah. And so you know, I think you know, tough love is really important in a small business because failure should not be an option. So yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm having these conversations. You know, we have almost 500 territories, so yeah. we do have 500 territories operating. So you get that amount of numbers, you're gonna have people that are kind of getting off track. You're gonna have people that have maybe offloaded some of their duties to other people and then maybe they dropped off so yeah i mean small business and the functionality of it you know needs consistent uh, approaches and changes and evolution so yeah. yeah i mean we're getting them all the time i just like you're saying i don't think a lot of people some people take to it very well some people um don't take to it very well but right. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing anybody any favors if we're not telling the truth here. So this is what I love about OxyFresh. Again, let me just recap here. One, it's a proven system. And, James, you work in the office selling tickets for our, our tours and our conferences. And, again, I, I, you don't just show up to work and I say, hey, just say whatever comes natural to you. <laughs> right? Right. And a lot of people, there's certain information that General Flynn and I want you to communicate to everybody who's buying a ticket. That's right. And so what happens is someone says, just give me the price, buddy. You know, the guy just gets off the OxyFresh line, right? So then his immediate, he's frustrated with, with Matt over here. So he immediately calls in, just give me the price, buddy. <laughs> How often does that happen? Uh, maybe 5 10%. But I just, I just let them know, hey, the general, he wants me to let you guys know a couple quick bullet points. Give yeah. me 30 seconds, and then you know I'll get to that ticket price. But you have the script. You have the rebuttals. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Okay. So, again, if you're out there today and you say, you know what, I want the systems, I want the processes, I want the proven strategies, that's the benefit of buying an OxyFresh. If you want to achieve time freedom and financial freedom faster, more quickly, that's the real value of buying an OxyFresh. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is, Matt, when someone buys an OxyFresh, they have access to all the systems. I mean, you, that's what you do, but you also they have also have access to the, to the, I would call it maybe coaching or mentorship if somebody buys an OxyFresh, um, can they call you guys for help, or how does that process work? Yeah, you really kind of you need it, right? I mean, most of the people that are investing in OxyFresh or just in franchising in general, they've never owned a company before. Yeah, They're usually going to be good at a certain set of skills. They might be good at sales, or they might be good at management, or they might be good at bookkeeping or you know just logistics. But most people aren't good at everything, right? And so we're trying to fill in some of the holes for, for, for people that maybe lack in in management experience, you need to learn it over time, or maybe sales experience. We we make up for that in marketing. So you know, we try to treat everyone as if they know nothing, and that's mm. not a that's not a um, negative thing because the the moment we start assuming people are good at certain things, that's when stuff starts to fall apart. So we want to try to automate as many things. We want to try to make the skills that people come to the table with better, right, by exploiting them, and we try to to make people um, aware of what they're good at, right? I mean, it's it's. And what you're not good at. I think one of the best things about um, kind of self-identifying yourself as an owner is understanding what you're not good at and either working on it or put some, something or somebody else in place to do it for you. And so we've tried to try to accomplish that by automation and technology um, through OxyFresh. And so we've done a pretty good job of it. And we're still working on it. Third uh, point I wanted to communicate today is that with OxyFresh, um, the, the, you're, you're buying a business uh, vehicle that has the potential to earn you financial and free time freedom. A, 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 you're buying a business vehicle that has the, the potential to provide you financial and time freedom, that has the potential to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And it costs less money than what most people spend on a brand new Suburban. I mean, if you go buy sure. a brand new Suburban or a used Suburban, it's arguable 
it's going to cost you more than fifty thousand dollars. And for OxyFresh, I mean, it's you know less money than a new suburban. So I would just <laughs> encourage people if you're out yeah. there today and you're saying. I am trying to achieve financial freedom and time freedom. I would encourage you to schedule a free consultation at oxyfresh.com, oxifresh.com, oxifresh.com. Schedule that free consultation. Request the information there. Uh, Matt, OxyFresh has been open now or available for over a decade. There's over 500 locations there. Matt, I'll give you the final word. What should everybody? What does everyone? Need, what does everyone need to know about OxyFresh, sir? Yeah, I mean, we're not just a one like we're not just for certain people, right? I mean, we can be the business that allows you to put your foot in the um, in the in the pot of bit entrepreneurship. You might have a full time job, but you realize you got some flexibility. Maybe you don't currently like your situation. Let's have a conversation about what your time commitments are, what your priorities are, what your family dynamic is, what's your investment level that you're comfortable with, and let's see if this might be uh, an avenue to get you into entrepreneurship. Some people just can't jump in, right? They can't, they can't take the risk of just going all in. So they need to be able to kind of, you know, limp into it a little bit. And we'll, we'll train you how to do that. I mean, I started my business as a semi-absentee business owner with other things on my plate. Now uh, it's a very lucrative secondary income for me. So it's not just about one way of doing it. I think we've created an environment for flexibility and ownership. And so if you don't think it's a possibility – um, and you and you don't think that entrepreneurship is good for you because you have a full time job? I would just rethink that because it costs you zero dollars to have a discussion with us, and we can go through the process, right? At at minimum, you'll just have intrigue in terms of what's out there that you maybe don't know is right now. Matt, I can tell you, you you sound like you're smelling tremendous, and I appreciate you joining us today on this edition of the Thrive Time Show. And again, for anybody out there that wants to learn more, go to OxyFresh.com to learn more about buying an OxyFresh franchise. It's OxyFresh.com. And if you want to get a ticket for, to one of our in-person upcoming workshops, you can go to ThriveTimeShow.com, ThriveTimeShow.com. I've been doing those every two months since 2005. And so if you want to learn more about those, you can go to ThriveTimeShow.com. And if you want to schedule a free consultation with myself to learn how to uh, – improve your business you can do that at thrivetimeshow.com and finally um, if you want to download uh, a, a book that has the that has the potential to change your life you just go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire and you can download a millionaire's guide how to become sustainably rich for free at thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire matt you smell tremendous and i can't wait to talk to you next week all right thank you see you bye the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So, so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex. They're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but this come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on, on uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year 
than we did the first five months, or I'm sorry, the first, we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we, we were in a rut and we the, didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in uh, but Thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Morrow. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a marked increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you are looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours. On the day-to-day, -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system. 
critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time, um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal and they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show, two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. 
And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, but I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy with Tip Top Canine, and I'm the founder. I'm Rachel Wimpy, and I am a co-founder. So we've been running Tip Top for about the last 14 years, franchising for the last three, four years. So someone that'd be a good fit for Tip Top, loves dogs, they're high energy, uh, they want to be able to own their own job, but they don't want to worry about, you know, that high failure rate. They want to do that like bowling with bumper lanes. So you give us a call, reach out to us, and we'll call you, um, and then we'll send you an FDD, look over that, read it, fall asleep to it, it's very boring, um, and then we'll book a discovery day, and you come and you spend a day or two with us to make sure that you actually like it, make sure your training dogs is something that you want to do. So an FDD is a franchise disclosure document. It's a federally regulated document that goes into all the nitty gritty details of what the franchise agreement entails. So who would be a good fit to buy a TikTok K9 would be somebody who loves dogs, um, who wants to work with dogs all day as their profession. Um, you'll make a lot of money, you'll have a lot of fun, it's very rewarding. And who would not be a good fit is a cat person. So the upfront cost for TikTok is $43,000. Uh, and a lot of people say they're generating doctor money, but on our disclosure, the numbers are anywhere from um, over a million dollars a year in dog training, what our Oklahoma City location did last year, to 25, 35 grand a month. Um, to train and get uh, trained by us for TikTok Canine to run your own TikTok Canine, you would be um, with us for six weeks here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we've been married for seven years. Eight years. Eight years. So if you're watching this video, you're like, hey, maybe I want to be a dog trainer. Hey, that one sounds super amazing. Go to our website, tiptopcanine.com. Click on the yellow franchising tab, fill out the form, and Rachel and I will give you a call. Our Oklahoma City location last year, they did over a million dollars. He's been running that shop for three years. Before, he was a youth pastor with zero sales experience, zero dog training experience before he ever uh, met with us. So just call us. Um, come spend a day with us. Spend a couple days with us. Make sure you like training dogs and um, own your own business. Well, the biggest reason to buy a tip-top canine is so you own your own job and you own your own future and you don't hate your life. You get an enjoyable job that brings a lot of income but is really rewarding. My name is Seth Flint and I had originally heard about tip-top canine um, through uh, my old pastors who I worked for. They trained their Great Pyrenees uh, with Ryan and Tip Top K9. They did a phenomenal job and uh, became really good friends with Ryan and Rachel. I was working at a uh, local church and it was a great experience. I ended up uh, leaving there and working with uh, Ryan and Tip Top K9. The biggest thing that I really, really enjoy about being self employed is that I can uh, create my own schedule. I have the ability to uh, spend more time um, with my family, my wife and my daughter. So my very favorite thing about training dogs with Tip Top Canine is that I get to work with the people. Um, obviously, I love working with dogs, but it's just so rewarding to be able to um, train a dog um, that had serious issues, whether it's behavioral or you know whatever, and um, uh, seeing a transformation, taking that dog home, and mom and dad are literally in tears because of um, how happy they are um, with the training. If somebody is interested, I'd say don't hesitate. Make sure you like dogs. Make sure that uh, you enjoy um, working with people uh, because we're not just dog trainers. We're, we are customer service people that help dogs. And, um, and so definitely, definitely don't hesitate. Just just come in and ask questions, ask all the questions you have.